Senior CS, family, friends, class of 2011. It is my distinct privilege to be here this afternoon representing the United States Naval Academy at Annapolis, Maryland, to present an offer of appointment to a gifted and extraordinary young man. Founded in 1845, the U.S. Naval Academy is one of the finest and most selective institutions in the world. Our mission is to develop men and women morally, morally, and physically, and to imbue them with the highest ideas of beauty, honor, and loyalty, to provide our nation with graduates who have the potential to assume the highest responsibilities of command, citizenship, and government. Our distinguished list of graduates include one president of the United States, eight ambassadors, 22 members of Congress, five state governors, two Nobel Prizes awardees, 52 astronauts, 45 Rhodes Scholars, and 73 awardees of the Congressional Medal of Honor. The 4,000 attendant initiatives that have access to some of the best engineering, research, and athletic facilities in the country. They are supported by 600 member faculty considered one of the strongest college or university faculties in the nation. During summer training, the ship has traveled throughout the world. Upon graduation, the ship has received bachelor of science degrees and are commissioned as ensigns in the United States Navy and second lieutenants in the United States Marine Corps. The value of this education is estimated at $417,000. To receive an appointment to the United States Naval Academy, applicants must go through a highly competitive process uncommon to all other colleges. And for good reason, we need the very best and brightest to fulfill our mission and preserve and protect our country's freedoms. Since February 1, 2010, the Naval Academy has received 18,500 applications for the 1,250 available appointments set by Congress. All applicants were pre-screened and 12,000 were designated as official candidates. Throughout the summer, candidates were required to submit personal and academic credentials and participate in a rigorous physical fitness test take the Department of Defense medical examination, and go be a normal officer of the community. That's where I came from. During the fall, U.S. Congressmen and Senators invited exceptional candidates for formal interviews for one of 10 nominations allocated to them by Congress. By February 2011, the number of candidates for other countries who were fully qualified and officially nominated was 3,514. This, uh, this select group was evaluated by the Naval Academy Admissions Board with letters of appointment being extended to 1,250 for the class of 2015. By God's grace, the most well-rounded and gifted young people our nation has to offer. And the young man I'm here for this afternoon is of that matter. His exceptional academic credentials, extraordinary athletic ability, high standard of personal integrity, and strong desire to serve his country are a testament to the quality of his upbringing and the commitment of the staff at Global High School to academic, athletic, and moral excellence. But now he is destined to join a very noble cause. He will be challenged to be more of himself than he ever dreamed of. To learn to be a leader, to serve and protect this nation, so all of our hopes and dreams can be fulfilled. In the words of American patriot John Paul Jones, the father of our age, the statue of our homeland is no more than a measure of ourselves. Our job is to keep her free. Our will is to keep the torch of freedom burning for all. To this solemn promise, we call them the young, the brave, the strong, and the free. He my call. Come to the sea, come sail with me. Therefore, it is my distinct honor to present on behalf of Vice Admiral Michael Miller, 
Superintendent of the United States Naval Academy, this letter will comment to the Naval Academy of 2015 to Eric Pissarro. Valedictorian for the class of 2011 is Morgan Ashley Walker. 